Okay, what's up guys for another episode of The Dino Is Right. And today we have a bone stock S13 coupe with KA, nothing done to it except suspension, and even better, it's an auto. Now before you're like, oh it's an auto and not a manual, blah blah blah, just for the rarity and the transmission kind of dry train loss, I'm really curious on the stock KA on what it will make on the dyno itself. My guess is around 90. Kyle! What? What do you think it's going to make? Uh, I'm gonna pull the prices right on you. 92. No! Say your name? Roger. So Roger thinks it's gonna make 80. Yeah. 80? Okay. Or Charles, what do you think? 105 wheelboard. 105. Okay. I think we all have pretty solid estimates, but I hope I'm surprised and it's some factory freak, so that's gonna be cool. What's your answer? I'm gonna go with a strong 115. 115? Because you have an S14 with the KA that's stock, right? Yep. Well, and, Speed, not automatic. But have you dynoed it? Yes, I have. How would it make? I can't say that. That's not fair. It is fair. Auto is a, a much bigger drivetrain loss. 144. One, yeah. That's what you made? Yep, 144 wheel. And he drifts it just fine. So you're going to say 120? 118, 120. Okay. All right. Here's the proof stock AA, stock airbox, and no Eagle's Nest. Roger here is like, yeah, I got a supercharger. I might put it on. Yeah, might. I is that is that made for the KA? This was the supercharger from a Nissan Frontier. Oh, so it's same plenum basically, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay, cool. I just, I just have an adapter plate that I have to bolt on and the supercharger hangs upside down like this. Does it? Oh, okay, that makes sense. So it doesn't go directly on top of it. It goes more to the side. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Kind of like a K-Series or something when they do the Jackson. God, always on your phone. Sorry. Roger going down the history into the dyno sheet. We're gonna add this to the list. It has timing chain rattle. Yeah. So put that into account too. Give me your best Anakin Skywalker pod racer impression. It's working! It's working! <laughs> Was I in the right gear? <laughs> okay, so we just got a really overly low number. So you're like, what? No way. So. that dyno pool are you at least satisfied with the consistent result yeah okay yeah. i'm glad too because that more, first pool is more than i thought good over here that's right. trying to this yeah way. the auto makes it tricky yeah. all right you excited for your last pull yeah all right let's do it Much better. So honestly, if this was my car, I'd be very happy with the result because of the auto drivetrain loss. You gonna do one more? All right, we're gonna do one more. I got interrupted, I'm sorry. I think Charles is trying to defend the honor of the KA. Yep. <laughs> he hit rev limiter that time, he went big baller. Okay, so even with the rev limiter, it did the exact same number, which means the motor's very consistent. Not to mention, there's no burning oil coming out the back or anything. It just cleaned. So that's really, really good news. Exactly. Okay, so stock 240SX with an automatic. Honestly, we were all pretty happy with our guesses and our results. So you can use those as references. And I wanna thank Roger for showing up. Today we have something extremely rare. This is a Lexus SE300. 
that stock. The last time I filmed an SC300 that was stock was down in Florida back in 2015. I love the car, it was great, it was automatic, just like this one. This one has extremely low miles on it, so we haven't lost a lot of horsepower due to mileage and things like that. So I'm really curious to see what the stock NA2J does in this car that hasn't been beat up, opposed to the last one we did, which was the GS300, which had all sorts of problems. We got it strapped down, we're gonna see how it goes, and the only thing done to the car is our PF1s. He has the original window sticker. <laughs> All right, time to, oh. Look at that. That's crazy. What year was it? 92. No, oh my God. <laughs> Wait, what did it retail at factory? 35,000. Wow. And now you can buy these for like five. I bought this for four. Four, well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, yes. what do you think it's gonna make? Uh, I say around 180. 180? Yes. It's an automatic. They rate these things at around 200, so I figure we're gonna have a little bit of a loss, but. I think I'll be devil, devil's advocate. I think it'll be like 160. What do you think the SC300 is going to make? 189.6. 182. Y'all are prices writing me. Yes, we are. <laughs> the right. Dino is right. I mean, cool. What do you think it's gonna make? Gosh, well, uh, he said 155, so. Um, what if it, okay. I don't know, maybe he's trying to lowball a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, maybe bring it up a bit. The first pull, I was right. Second pull, Matt was right. And it was by a pretty big margin of difference. So, second pull was much better than the first. Your car is extremely consistent. Wow. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> Are you guys happy with the result? Yeah. Is that about what you wanted? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Get yourself a baseline. We're really happy we're doing a lot of stock-powered cars. That way people can pick a platform and then realize that this is where they're going to start rather than going by the crank horsepower numbers, which can be misleading. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Goodbye. Hey, you, want clean wheels? Hey, use this, spray on. Let's sit for 45 seconds and turn purple. Spray again with water, clean wheels. Make sure to check out www.pattersoncarcare.com. Made by car dudes, for car dudes.